Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Edu. So today we will be learning a very interesting game that is your shooter game. So here we will shoot and the space saucers, uh, like if you remember those games. So let's quickly begin. So we need some sprites, so we need to set the backstage. To, so go to your backdrops and select anything that you like, anything. So here I like the desert option. So yeah, this looks good. And yeah, we are ready to proceed. So now we need something that flies around from here and goes open throughout the screen and we need to shoot it through, right? We need to be able to aim through that. So let's go ahead and find our sprite for that. And you can see we can select this bread sprite that looks perfectly good. That will work and but we need to make some changes to it. So let's go and go to costumes and create a duplicate for that. Duplicate is done. Now we need to change this duplicate. We need to break this down apart. So let's use the eraser, cut it into half in some random positions that you want and break this down and you will see you have divided it in half. Now we want to distribute it further, convert to bitmap. Then select the part that you want the bits to go apart and give a little bit of rotation and yeah, this is done select the other part as well and give it another rotation done and select this part move it down rotate yeah works perfectly fine so now if you can see it looks like it breaks down right so whenever we shoot it will break down this costume is done so now let's go and have our mouse pointer done so we need a new sprite over here so we need to draw it actually so let's paint it up and yeah for a mouse pointer we need circle go ahead and make a circle but we don't need this so let's delete okay so we now need to make the mouse pointer over here so let's go ahead and make the mouse pointer we need to go to vector and then we need a circle but not the filled one exactly we need it a line yes we need a line no fill and yes you can see i have made my circle over here you can make it as big as you want after all you can make the borders a little bit more thick so that the pointers are visible and i think that's perfect and the color should be changed to something bright let's say red and yes red looks perfect and now we need some pointers that looks like a gun pointer right so we need some straight line okay looks perfect now so let's um, our pointer is done so this sprite is also done so that's great and I think we need to reduce the size a little bit more let's make it 8 not direction let's make this one 80 and maybe a little bit more um, it's too large so 70 okay perfect done so two sprites are done now the coding is very simple what we need to do for this sprite this one this sprite the pointer it no should move with our cursor right that's it so for that for that the go to code and it's very really simple you will look at this and we need some events that is when flag is clicked and we need a forever loop that it should do it forever forever and then motion you need to go to the mouse pointer that's it so you'll see now if i run the game and yes you can shoot with this one you can have the shooting right okay that's great so let's move to the next coding that is our bread sprite and this has a little bit of code but not much so let's get quickly started so create an event one flag is clicked and then we need to go to looks because we need to hide it initially right we don't need to uh, make it everyone see it initially so we need to hide it initially hide is done next we need a control that is forever loop and forever loop done then we need to switch the costume right let's go to looks switch the costume to bread 2 and not bread 2 first is bread 1 and next next is we need the motion motion that is go to your position x and position x position x go to x and y so, right now the x and y should be something at around here right 
not in our screen but outside of our screen so that should be the position so you can make it minus 200 and y can be minus 125 and yeah this will work i believe so and we need to point in the right direction so point it decrease where is that direction 90 yes now turn, turn by random so turn by i think i need to use some random operators over here pick random and you can take any angles let's say 10 to 80 it will give a turn a random turn so that it is uh, really uh, looks like a real thing and now we need to show it that's it show it and yeah this is it and next we need to repeat this until we touch it right until we touch it until we touch the edge of our screen so we need to repeat it so go to controls have a repeat until block not repeat repeat until repeat until so sensing sensing should be there so it should touching edge repeat until touching edge hmm, that's done so next it should move let's say i give it a move of three steps move of three steps and next will be yours uh, if block because we need to now if something we if we shoot it so it should disappear or break down so next we have that bring in bring that condition into force so we will use a if block and we would need an and operator right because it should touch the mouse if, even if we if even if we even if our mouse pointer is pointing towards it, it should not disappear it should break down on the click of the mouse so therefore two conditions should be. yeah so first we need two actions over here one is that when the mouse is done and uh, oh, i remove that one as well mouse done and the end block and the touching the mouse pointer right and touching the mouse pointer now we need to switch the costume to the break one switch costume to break two and we can have a variable because without score schemes don't look good and let's make a variable score okay done score now we need to increase change score by change score by one if this happens and i think we need to yeah this should work and let's see yes working so you can see the game is working and i think we need to make a little bit more adjustments into the cursor position over here so yeah but if you touch the mouse pointer it really shoots right right okay let's come back and i think we're having some trouble into the scoring part okay so the problem with the score can be sorted out by let's see how can we sort it out so we would need another if block that should play place over here and we should repeat this only when we have the costume number is one not two so now you see it will work see it works if i click it anywhere else it won't work i'm clicking it here won't work so yeah the score is sorted and there you go we have our game and just to give you a complete overview so we just created this in i think something five six minutes so go ahead and make this game and please subscribe to this channel to support and yeah keep watching bye